We're going to dive into a mailbag here on the Dallas Cowboys Report. You should know the drill by now. Use hashtag Cowboys or you can super chat. And remember, you got to be subscribed if you want to get on the show. First up from Alan Williams. Ooh, a super chat. Bottoms up. Hashtag Cowboys. Who should the Cowboys go after in free agency next year? I have to see what the cap is. Is it going to be at the floor of 175 or more likely, is it going to be like 190 approaching 200? If it's 190, 200, probably got to find some defensive tackle help. We will do a video out, I promise you, frankly, several versions of it, focus more on positions, in terms of who the Cowboys could end up adding in free agency. Alakai Trimble, when we go back to a 4-3, one gap scheme, which, by the way, I also got to say in terms of who the Cowboys pursue in free agency. Bottoms up. I mean, the Cowboys have run a lot of 4-3 in terms of four base linemen because it's a nickel base like most NFL teams. But you're right. I, th I think the, the one-gapping versus two-gapping things matters. The problem this year for the Cowboys' front four has been that outside of Demarcus Lawrence, uh, your guys can't even one-gap that well. Antoine Woods can kind of too. But that's two guys out of the four you're playing, and your linebackers are lost half the time. So I'd say probably, yeah, they're going to revert back to more of that 4-3 one-gap scheme. I am very curious to see which route this team ends up going when it comes to defense and scheme in the offseason. So that's going to be a critical question for them to answer. From Tony Higgins, hashtag Cowboys should draft fields and trade Dak. He threw in hashtag Cowboys twice. Thank you, Tony. <sighs> there is an argument to be made that, yeah, that makes some sense. The Cowboys might also not even end up being in Justin Fields' draft range. I get the argument, right? You can reset the quarterback contract market. Justin Fields is a, or not market, but situation for your organization. Fields is a great prospect. In the end, I lean against that because, frankly, with the way draft pick capital is valued, I think you would be able to get more from a hypothetical top three pick, or at least close to it, than you would by trading Dak and having his new team pay him. So from a draft capital, let's just say it's a wash, right? Don't forget... I know Dak Prescott is a top 10 quarterback. I like Justin Fields, the prospect. But go through the recent quarterback draft classes. How many of them are top 10 QBs? Dak, Mahomes, Watson, maybe Kyler Murray, then that's a maybe? It's not a great track record. I think from a, from a value perspective, I mean, the guy I know, I know is a top 10 guy. But you guys can get your votes in here. F for Justin Fields, or type in P for Dak Prescott. I'm down to listen to the arguments. I think it's a good discussion to have, one that should be had within the Cowboys organization. But I think the answer should end up being P for Prescott. From Dwayne Jackson, do you ever think Jerry Jones will have a come-to-Jesus moment that his way has not worked or will never work? Will he ever realize this? I mean, to be fair... It did work at one point. Jerry just wanted a little bit more credit than what he was getting. So I, I don't know if Jerry's going to change his tune. I will say that Jerry's given up a lot more power than, say, an Al Davis did, and I'll give him credit for that. But after 25-plus years, Buck's got to stop at the top, you know? All right, from TNC Gaming, can Gregory Russo play defensive tackle? Gregory Russo is an edge rusher out of Miami. It's a good question because Russo had a great statistical year for Miami, but a lot of his production actually came from really lined up as a zero tech. I do think that there are times you can and probably do want to put Gregory Russo on the interior as kind of that David Irving pass rusher from the middle. The problem is Russo's 6'5", maybe 260. So he cannot be a full-time defensive tackle, and that's arguably to, to be even a rotational three-tech on passing down. So that's why he's not going to be as well-regarded in the NFL as he will be by, I think, just where we sit right now. He's not a fully developed edge right now. There's a lot of promise there, but despite the stats and the athleticism, he's a little bit more raw. So you can use him there. But you can't take him and say, okay, now we got our DT spot figured out. Now he's an edge rusher. 
Now, if you guys are like me, you're actually either A, very difficult to shot for because people ask you, Tom, what do you want? And you go, I don't know, whatever. Or you don't shop until the last minute. Fun fact, I did my shopping last night. Hey, this can help you guys. Go get yourself a Fanatics gift card. If you don't know what to get your dad or your brother or your friend or whatever, let them do the shopping for you. Chatsports.com slash gift card. You can get a variety of Fanatics gift cards. That way they can pick whatever jersey or t-shirt or hoodie that they want, and that way you don't get them a bad gift that they, that they never end up wearing. This makes your life a whole lot easier. It's Chatsports.com slash gift card. Derek Moggins? I got that wrong. I'm sorry. Alex Leatherwood in the second. That is the offensive lineman from Alabama. I don't mind him in round two. I think in general for the Cowboys, I think you'll find some value if you have that early second round pick if you want to go offensive line because Panay Sewell's OT1, and then it's some combination of Christian Darisaw from Virginia Tech, Jalen Mayfield from Michigan, Sam Cosby from Texas, Rashawn Slater from Northwestern, Leatherwood, Liam Eichenberg from Notre Dame. One of those guys will be there in round two. I think Leatherwood, I'm not sure if he's a guard or tackle, but that de but that versatility makes me a little bit intrigued by him, actually. I think could fit well in Dallas. From Lau Salazar, in a hypothetical situation where contracts don't matter, who would you want for the next 10 years, Dak or Trevor? Ooh, it's a good question. I think because contracts don't matter, I think you have to go with the proven one. I think that's Dak. If contracts do matter, I think I'd go Trevor because I think Trevor is going to be awesome. I think he's going to be one of the top five quarterbacks in the NFL. But you know what? Even though his cinema might, might be higher than Dax and probably is higher than Dax, I know Dak's top 10 and kind of almost top five right now. So if the contracts don't matter, give me Dak because that, then I'm fine at quarterback. From Salad Jr., oftentimes pronounced Salad, is Quiddy Pay, the edge rusher from Michigan, a trade down target? It's funny because we got some Michigan fans slash alumni here in the uh, at Chat Sports, and I'm higher on Quiddy Pay than they are. Um, Pay's production is mostly pressure based, but he's a freak athlete. I think he could be a trade down target, but probably more of a fallback trade down target. Like edge rushers go earlier because teams want them. And he's unproven. I don't want to spend a top 10 pick on Quiddy Pay. He might end up being edge one, but that's not great value. The Arturo 090, should Sean Lee be the defensive coordinator? I am normally against just bring in former player and make him a coach. Sean Lee's my exception to the rule, though. I think Sean Lee is brilliant. I think he is one of the smartest players when it comes to football IQ and knowledge in the NFL. We've seen how much he works in studies. We've seen him correct coaches during games like, you can't call this coverage. It doesn't work, you idiot, without actually saying that, that, that last part there. I want Sean Lee in some capacity on my defensive coaching staff next year. Now, he might want to go coach high schoolers instead, and that's fine. He can go the John Kittner route, but whether it be linebacker's coach or if it has to be defensive coordinator, I am actually on board with that one. Vincent Miner says Lovey Smith for defensive coordinator. Nah. I don't know. This th I am of this mindset right now. Don't go with an old retread. I don't want to go Marvin Lewis. I don't really want to go Smith either. Like those are fine, I guess. But like he's I, I've seen him work. We we can move on. Let's go find somebody younger and more modern and innovative than another failed retread at the spot. 